Hey, what's going on guys? Base Slacker here. And I am actually in a VM. I decided that uh, I would show y'all how to install Grub uh, instead of Lilo as your bootloader in Slackware because I know I've mentioned it about a thousand times now. And I think somebody had asked how to do it and I just kind of gave a brief um, comment uh, just kind of how to do it. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it on both UEFI and BIOS systems. So uh, right now, uh, this is a UEFI install. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, oops. I should probably uh, be on that screen, huh? Uh, it's skip for, oh, you know, if you don't, if you, if you want a uh, uh, USB boot disk, then go ahead and, uh, you know, create that. But if you don't, like me, then go ahead and skip. So we're going to skip Lilo and we're going to skip eLilo. Right. Um, go ahead, finish up uh, with the rest of it until you get to uh, the last screen where you can exit uh, the installer uh, and then wait right there. All right, so you can see that setup is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. I'm gonna go to exit. And before I do, before I reboot or power off, I'm gonna go into the shell. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna shroot uh, into mount and then I'm gonna source slash Etsy and profile. All right, so uh, I've, sh I've shrewded into our fresh install. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do grub dash install dash dash target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI dash dash EFI dash directory equals slash boot slash EFI and I'm dash dash uh, boot loader dash ID equals, uh, and this can be whatever you want. Since this is UEFI, I'll just go ahead um, and, oops, uh, UEFI. It wouldn't be a base slacker video if I wasn't fat fingering my fucking keyboard. Um, anyways, so I'll go ahead, hit enter, it'll install, and then after that, don't reboot. Um, you have to make your config. So go ahead, grub dash make config dash o slash boot grub grub uh, dot cfg and it's going to create those configuration files um, and you're good you can go ahead before you just reboot you'll want to exit your shroot and you can u mount dash a and it'll unmount everything and then you can go ahead and reboot And you can see I now have Grub on the system as my bootloader. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's discuss BIOS. All right, here we are on a BIOS install, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip the USB uh, boot disk and we are going to skip Lilo. All right, go ahead and carry on with your installation and I'll meet you at the uh, installation finish screen. All right, now that we're finished with that, we can go ahead and hit exit, hit shell, and exact same thing uh, where we were last time. All right, so uh, exact same thing. We're gonna shroot. Oops, that was dumb. Let's see if I can recall. Yep, shroot slash mount, and then source slash Etsy profile. And let's see if I can clear the screen. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, same thing, grub install. However, this time we are going to um, type this in dash dash target equals I386 dash PC and then um, whatever disk you installed it to. So in my case, um, slash dev slash, hold on, let's see if I can slash re, okay. Okay, I think it's VDA. Um, and then we're going to do um, dash dash bootloader um, ID equals, I'll just do BIOS. Boom. Just like that. All right. So just like we did with the UEFI, we're going to go ahead and make our config. So grub dash make config dash O slash boot grub grub dot cfg boom just like that and then uh we can go ahead and reboot 
oh, let's exit first, and then we can U mount dash A. I mean, you don't really need to do this, but if you want it to be as clean as possible, um, if not, then you can just exit and reboot. And as you can see, Grub works just fine. So, well, guys, I appreciate it. Hope you all learned something. Uh, see you next time. All right, boys, I literally stopped the upload of this video just so that I could show you guys this. Look at this. Look at this logo for Grub. I was not expecting this. This actually took me back a little bit. This is very surprising and quite honestly, off-putting. I feel like this is cursed. And you know what? That's it, fam. I'm uninstalling.